recess on the front that uh, is big enough for a few drops of oil. It's required that you have at least four or five drops of oil because there's a little ring around the center that you have to get it up to that level. Uh, and if you get adequate oil in there, which may take a few trips with the dipstick into your crankcase, uh, uh, you turn it on, put the oil in the sample dish, and then press the test button, and it will give you a rating of 1 to 10 on your quality of your oil. All right, we're going to demonstrate this right now. What I happen to have here is I have a sample of Numo oil, and I have some used motor oils. So what I'm going to do, the procedure is as such, you take the LubriCheck device, make sure that the sensor is clean. I have a microfiber rag with me this time. Great. I will re-clean the sensor. He's and not the, using his handkerchief like well, he did last and time. And then you turn it <laughs> you turn Well, you know, it, 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 is, it is important. I don't mean to butt in, but, but I think the biggest issue we've had is that people don't realize you've got to get serious about cleaning this thing. Mm -hmm. And because the, the sensor has got little recesses between the rings, if you don't use something kind of soft and press firmly, you won't get the oil out from between those little rings, and that will get you uh, an inaccurate reading. Okay, so now the first thing to do is we turn the device on with this on-off switch. Switch and actually and shoot it across the desk like uh, the, Ray just did. the green LED flashes and the red LED flashes. I guess that's the systems check. Then we yeah. take from our sample. This is fresh motor oil. I'm using new oil first, and I'm using these little syringes I got when I had to give medicine to my cat. It just makes it yeah. easier. <laughs> sure, it will also measure cat medicine quite nicely. Yeah, I tried that last night. So I drew, <laughs> <laughs> drew some out, and I will now drop it into the sensor so it fills. The, the ring. Chad, it's very tough to be serious, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad for business. <laughs> I'm moving the camera around here. I'm trying to stay, stay straight here. I can't stay straight. Okay. That's because your medication didn't kick in. Okay, our sensor is filled, and now with a light push on the test button. Wait, they've got to find the test button. Here. Actually, I have it set to gas, not diesel. So the test button, I press the button and let go. The LEDs swing, and it stops at the first green LED. Right. Yeah, that's perfect. Actually, is it an LED or is it just a, a, another color uh, light? I don't want to misrepresent no, it. A, a LED. Okay, so that shows good, and it better show good because that's brand new oil. Mm -hmm. So yes. now what I will do is I will shut it off, and with a, with a rag, I'm going to take out the, swab out the new oil. Yes, he's and swabbing even as we speak. And then I'll use my microfiber cloth. Ooh, that man. makes you a swabby then, doesn't it? I am a swabby, yes. He is a swabby guy. I will really clean this thing well because I don't want to have any red, uh, red bad errors. Right. Let's cover the oil supply so we don't get cross-contamination. Oh, <laughs> the oil supply disappeared. Okay. Clean the bench because I spilled some. Now I'm going to go to a sample oh, this one, too, of waste motor oil. That I took. And it's, it's ironic because just last week, I didn't know we were going to do this and just last week, I dumped about 12 gallons of waste oil that I had at the house. That's amazing. So did oh, I. down the, the sewer drain, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's in, no, my neighbor's backyard. I, <laughs> but I do. I always have I always have spare waste oil right. lying around. Right. Makes, oh, yeah. Makes the plants grow really well. So once again, and salad dressing is nice. So we make sure that center is clean. We'll do double redundancy. Jeez, did that come out of my car? Again, this came out from behind your ear. We'll turn the, the Luber check on, and we'll get our systems check. Yes. Now I'll draw the waste oil. Oil in a f in a separate syringe. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get a good shot here. <laughs> well, try again. I've hurt myself. Uh, All right. Yeah. Ray is trying to remove the oil. And you're 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 putting oil in the unit that is shut off, right? Uh, I mean, that's that's turned on. Yeah, it's yeah, turned yeah, on. That's correct. It's okay. turned on. Yeah. Now right. I will inject this waste oil. Oh, the syringe is kind of tight. Yeah, you might end up squirting it all over. You have to be kind of delicate exactly. there. I, I'm, aiming it back. I'm aiming it at Chris. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm sitting right across the desk from him, Chad. So, so <laughs> you can get it on your shirt. If anybody's going to get it, it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> well, those syringes, too, get to be a little bit sticky. and Because we've used them for our testing, too. But if you push too hard, you may end up just kind of blowing the wad there. <laughs> That's what you call it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a few shirts that show how that works. <laughs> I'm getting a wide shot shot of them now, so, yeah. so I'm playing it safe. As soon as Ray successfully dispenses right, the oil we waste oil in well, the paper That's what Telephoto is for. Yeah. <laughs> 
believe me. This is not how they do this in New York, I'm telling you. This is Okay. <laughs> Our test well is filled. Anyone who's taking notes on this show is going to say, like, no, this isn't the And now what I will do is press the test button. The LED swings it's once, slow. twice, and it went dead last Ooh. red LED. Wow. Ooh, that's, that's pretty bad oil. Oh so, and, of course, this was waste oil. It's in kind of a community waste oil um, container that it's, I keep. It's actually flashing. The and this, light is flashing. Yes, it is. All right, so now I'll shut it off. Yeah, no, it may interject it on number 10. Uh, it actually will, with a, with a slow f- uh, flash, which is like every couple seconds, uh, that's, that's a bona fide 10. If it flashes faster than that, like every second, then we call it a rapid flash. That means it's even worse than a 10. It's maybe an 11 or 12. And this was like every second, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so that that's mean, kind of bad. That means you could use and, it and as if you, And if you get that kind of a reading and your oil is not all that old, uh, that may mean that you've got other engine issues like metal particles or uh, dirt or uh, a lot of carbon, that sort of thing. That could be something or, that's or good. Liquid, or, 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 I'm sorry, or antifreeze or water. That could be good to put in the, in the uh, instruction sheet so people can see, you know, do a little troubleshooting. Now, I took a sample out of my lawnmower. Yeah. And and this was I change the oil every year and I hadn't I hadn't changed it this year. This stuff is not only darker than the waste oil, it's well it's oh a straight God. thirty weight. It's thicker as well. Looks like the coffee you make. Mm. All right, so you, which syringe are you using on this one? Different syringe? Yeah, different syringe. Again, I'll turn, a lubricant check is cleaned. I will now turn it back on. Right. Get it's a systems check of green and red. There we go. There we go. And now I'll fill the well. This stuff looks like ink. It really does. Now, when you, when you say you fill the well, you mean fill it up to the little line around the middle, right? Yes, I don't, I don't fill the large depression, just the small yeah. depression in the center, yes. Exactly, and so the oil should be kind of level across there. It shouldn't dish yes. down. And you can't see the sensor through it. Now I'll press yeah. the test button. We swing once, we swing twice, and I have a fast flashing red LED on number 10. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. So that's, as expected, <coughs> the LubriCheck does exactly what it should do. Yeah, the, uh, the with a with a lawnmower, there's typically no oil filter in those things, and so they, the oil does kind of kind of get nasty pretty fast. Plus, as an air cooled engine, it might get kind of hot too, and that that can also break down the oil pretty fast. <laughs> That's correct, exactly. So, the LubriCheck does do what it says it would do. It does uh, it does work as advertised, and this is the same LubriCheck device we used last time, Chris. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So obviously, user the user error and the user factor is is a big thing here. It's a big, Very true. Uh, big deal. Yeah, it, it is, for us it's a challenge because it's not all that obvious, and we don't. We try not to criticize customers who call up and ask stupid questions, or <laughs> <Which is like, laughs> you know, because it, it's a, it's a little. Yeah, it takes a little bit of attention to do it right. Well, Chad, now you can have them refer all those stupid question calls to us. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> we're pretty good now. We know now what we're I, doing. Think, I think we talked about ten cents a call, right? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, we can work that out. Sure. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll work out the monetary. Particulars later. <laughs> Not okay. okay. Get, get the flashlight on my Luber check to work. And we'll make it uh, twelve cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, on the later models, we eliminated the flashlight because people thought it was kind of gimmicky, and I had to agree, so we pulled it out. Good idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, so yeah, I think most times you're doing this in in the light of day or by the drop light of night. So you know, you yeah. have an alternate light source. That was a nice thing. I mean, if you had a couple Swiss Army well, I mean, knife blades on the side, that would have been cool too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we found a lot of people were buying it just so they could siphon gas at night and that got us in trouble. Right. Well, yeah, that's how I got caught. (laughs) (laughs) That's perfect. That is perfect. Well, Chad, thank you.